Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a shader which is based off of the standard shader but instead of the colour parameter colouring the whole asset it will only colour a masked area defined by uh, the red channel in an RGB mask. So as you can see here the armour of this team buddy character is only being coloured in a specific area. So to do this, first you create a new shader and call it something relevant right, open it up <coughs> okay first thing we need to do is declare the mask texture in Unity's properties so the Imperial new inspector so that's mask texture and mask second we declare it here in the subshader Then here, and finally to clear it down here as well. But copy this, call it mask. Uh, change it to a single float because we're only using the red channel, and change the mask text within the main texture dot r and we can remove this color parameter from both areas because we don't want it doing this anymore because at the minute this color parameter colors the entire asset where we only want it to be colored based on our mask so just remove that then for the actual functionality we say c dot rgb so the main texture equals C dot RGB, the main texture, multiplied by 1 minus mask. So what this does is it inverts the mask and removes it from the texture. So if I show you how this works now. There it is. The, as you can see, the mask that area has been completely removed from the texture. So what we need to do now is add the color back into the mask so to do that we say add underscore color multiplied by our mask and that should work let's test it yep there it is all working fine but at the minute this is just a basic diffuse only sort of map so there's no normal map applied to it and there's no custom me metallic map or roughness map going into it so it looks kind of rubbish <laughs> so I'll quickly cut to showing some code which gets it working and I'll even show some code which shows how you can colour using a red, green and blue channel okay so this is the vision of the shader with the normal map put back in and it's also got a compiled texture which has the metallic stored in the red channel, the roughness stored in the green channel and the ambient occlusion stored in the blue channel. Uh, it's just a way of saving on draw calls and not having multiple textures going in. If a texture only stores values between 1 and 0, which is white and black, then it's pointless having a fresh texture for it where you can just store it in a channel. Um, this is the code for it. So at the top, I've declared the normal map and the metallic map. Down here, same again as what we did with the mask texture, just declaring the metallic and normal map. And same here. And down here. We've called this one MRO for Metal Roughness Occlusion. And there it is going into the outputs. O dot metallic equals metal roughness occlusion dot red channel. O dot smoothness equals metal roughness occlusion dot green channel and o dot occlusion equals metal roughness occlusion dot blue channel and that all works fine uh, there's the normal function within unity it's unpack normal open bracket and close bracket and that's it that's it all working fine and i'll cut now to showing the masks shader using red green and blue channels okay so here's the shader with the red green and blue mask as you can see i can determine 
colors based on these red, green, and blue channels. It's pretty cool. Um, to do it, we declare an extra two colors in the properties. Declare them here in a subshader as well. And then there's this function here, which is a singular float, and it adds all the channels together into a white mask, which is then taken out of the main texture here, like the previous shader. And then adding on top of that, we use color 1 multiplied by the mask's red channel, plus color 2 multiplied by the mask's green channel, and color 3 multiplied by the mask's blue channel. Uh, we use this min function here, which uh, clamps it and prevents the value from going over 1, so it'll always be between 0 and 1. And that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you make good use of this. Cheers.